It's time for Wenatchee Panthers soccer on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by the Walkabout Grill in Wenatchee and Leavenworth, Collins Fashions, Town Nissan, and Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge. Welcome to the Apple Bowl here in Wenatchee for this battle for first place in the Big Nine between the 5 0 Wenatchee Panthers and the 4 1 West Valley Rams. West Valley has just been dominant since joining the Big Nine, and they've had a domination over the Wenatchee Panthers since John Springer's been here, uh, going back nine games now, and I think the margin is 25 to 2 or something like that, Matt Wisen. Uh, let's talk about this matchup and how tough this is for Wenatchee. At least they have it here on their home turf. Yeah, they've definitely had Wenatchee's number, and, and it's something I'm sure John doesn't want to, Coach Springer doesn't want to focus on too much. Um, I don't think his girls, though, this year are, are looking back too much. Uh, they're off to a really hot start, and, um, and and his teams this year have also started games off really really quickly. Mm -hmm. The first 15 minutes or so, they've been getting goals, setting the tempo, and not looking back. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure John is wanting to do exactly the same thing tonight. Uh, focus on what's at hand tonight and just get after it. Well, and it seems that uh, where the team goes, so goes Jaden Griggs or vice versa. Uh, she's just been a scoring dynamo for uh, Coach Springer this season. Yeah, she's hard to deny. She is she is a worker out there. She does not have the off switch. And, uh, and she's got the motor to keep going and going and going. And she finds ways to get in and get shots on frame. Now, we, uh, of course, did the game here earlier this week uh, between Eastmont and a team from the Yakima Valley, and we kind of said in jest a little bit, but all the talent pool for soccer seems to be going West Valley's way. I don't know how they do it, but they've reloaded once again. Yeah, um, they kind of do. They Schools like Tri-Cities, West Valley, where they've got or cities, I guess, with, with num numerous schools tend to draw specialty programs and specialty players. So West Valley for a while has had that label. We're the soccer school. And that's where the club players want to go, and they go there. And um, fortunately for Wenatchee, um, there's lots of depth as well. And so some went to Eastmont, some went to Kashmir, some went to Wenatchee, and, and every program is benefiting. We're at the halfway point of the season. This game actually should have been played already, but it was smoked out uh, because of the fires and, and heavy smoke and poor air quality, so they had to push it back to now. Is that a plus or a minus for either team, Matt? I think it's more of a plus for Wenatchee. Yeah. <laughs> well, because they've had a chance to play more it. games. <laughs> yeah, they, they've had a chance to play more games. We actually have had better air quality than the Yakima, yeah. and they have a few games under their belt. They're still looking healthy, which is great at this point in the season. No injuries, really. A little bit of a bug going around, but not much. And um, I, know, I think Wenatchee's kind of happy with how things have started playing out so far. Well, this would, if the Panthers can get a victory tonight, it'd give them a two game cushion in the uh, Big Nine. And so it's a big one here tonight between West Valley and Wenatchee. We're going to talk with Coach John Springer as we continue with the pregame show coming up next here on the NCW Life Channel. Don't go away. Welcome back to Big Nine soccer action here at the Apple Bowl. Matt, for uh, NCW Life, I'm Matt Wisen. With me, Coach John Springer. How you doing, Matt? I'm, I'm doing great, thank great. you. Um, it's been a while since uh, you've seen. West Valley Rams tonight. <laughs> uh, I guess you'll be playing them tonight. The first game was postponed due to smoke. Yeah. Um, how do you think that might have played out for you guys? You, maybe in your, your advantage, you get a little later on in the season, or um, I know West Valley's kind of had your number over the last yeah, they, the last couple of years. They've absolutely had our number, and uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think. You know, the girls were so fired up to play them um, when you know when we got smoked out there as the first regular season game and. Um, they were ready to go. I think, uh, you know, at this stage, too, they've been playing with lots of confidence, so I think they're also still confident and ready to play them. But at the same time, um, it's tough. We're going to play them again a week from Saturday. So, that, you know, the, the, the hard part is turning around and playing them back-to-back -back within a week and a half. But, um, you know, soccer, soccer. They got Both teams are faced with the same thing. I think our girls are, are ready to play. And, uh, and you're right. We have not beat them in the four years they've been in the league. So uh, the girls are hungry. Your girls, speaking of your girls, they're on a tear. I mean, they they're, <laughs> probably couldn't have asked for a better opening to a season right now with, with how things have been going. Um, things have become pretty easy at times. How do you keep your girls motivated and in, in, um, in wanting to keep getting after a day after day at practice? I've got the easiest job in the world right now. I mean, these girls, uh, the, you know, they're primarily all juniors and seniors, and their leadership has been fantastic. I mean, they, they take charge right from the get-go, um, from the beginning of practice to the end of practice. They're the ones... You know, trying to keep the intensity up, and uh, you know, in the locker room, halftime, 
you know, just their input is phenomenal. I, you know, I pretty much sit there, nod my head and agree. And uh, you guys are right. That's exactly what we got to work on. I mean, they're seeing it. They're communicating it. They're definitely um, all clicking right now. And hopefully they can keep that up through the season. You, you never know. But, uh, you know, we've been healthy, which has really helped a lot. Um, so, you know, so far, so good. Any um, any keys to the game you're, you're trying to communicate to your girls? How are you um, prepared for this game tonight? You know, uh, the biggest approach we've had this year is really focused on one one game at a time, and it's been exciting. This is the you know they really have not talked about West Valley in the past. They would talk about them all season long, you know, waiting for that game. And this year, just a whole different approach to it. They've really, uh, you know, they started talking about them yesterday. And um, you know, aside from the Eastmont win, obviously the girls were uh, excited for Eastmont frustrated that they weren't the ones to knock them off because they really want to do that if they can but uh but at the same time um you know they're they've just had a great focus this season and i think um it's really going to be a matter of us playing our game and this is the first time at that i think you know in the past it was how can we stop west valley and what can we do different um we don't have any plans to do anything different i think if we can play the way we've been playing and possess the ball and control it and get numbers up um you know we should have a good result well best of luck tonight and the rest of the season hey thanks man. nice Thank talking you. to you when we come back, we'll go over the rosters and have opening kick up, kickoff. You're watching soccer on NCW Life. Don't go away. And welcome back once again here to the Apple Bowl in Wenatchee as we get ready for this tilt and big nine action between the West Valley Rams and the Wenatchee Panthers, along with Matt Wise and I'm Eric Grandstrom here on the NCW Life channel. Our broadcast brought to you in part by Walkabout Grill in Wenatchee and Leavenworth. Take a walk on the wild side. And Town Nissan, your local East Wenatchee Nissan dealer, where honesty and transparency come first. Also by Collins Fashions in downtown Wenatchee, real clothes for real women. And Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge, your Town Chrysler family store where people get nice surprises. Well, let's take a look at the lineups here for both ball clubs. By the way, we should mention our uh, interview with coach John Springer before the ball game brought to you by our friends at TC Slingers rock bark soil soil and sand they'll place the material for you at TC Slingers so our starting lineups as announced by both coaches here tonight in this battle for first place in the big nine brought to you by Arctic refrigeration and heating for residential and commercial heating and air conditioning it's Arctic refrigeration first for the West Valley Rams who come in with a record of four and one in big nine play they're five two and two overall the starters announced by their head coach, John Schubert. He's assisted by Kerry Steele, Steve Miller, Riley Steele, and Austin Chenoweth. The uh, goalkeeper for the Rams tonight will be Megan Lee, and we're going to talk more about that coming up in just a moment. She is a senior. Also getting the start, wearing number four, a uh, midfielder defender, a senior, Claire Johnston. Also starting for Coach Schubert tonight, wearing number five, Kendall Sharp. She's also listed as a uh, midfielder or a forward. She is a junior. Kaylee Moen will get the start. She's a, uh, where's number seven? She's a defender, where is a junior in high school. Anna Hager is a senior, also a defender, wears number eight. Number nine is Kendra Hansis, a forward, and she is a senior. Jordan Carnes is a midfielder. She's a junior and wears number 11. Number 14 is Hallie Marshall. A uh, defender and where's no, or is a junior. A sophomore getting the start at forward is number 15, Shannon Curtis. The final two starters here for Coach Sherbert tonight at uh, forward, a senior wearing number 20, Lexi Mason. And also number 21, Lily Fetzer is a midfielder. She is a sophomore. So a couple of youngsters in the lineup here in the start for West Valley. And we'll talk more about that as we had a chance to talk with uh, Coach Schubert here before the ball game. Meanwhile, for the Wenatchee Panthers, announced by their head coach, John Springer, he's assisted by Kirsten Brown, Kevin Reister, and Lena Little. The Panthers come in perfect in big nine play at 5-0. and They're 7-1 on the season. And the one loss was their first game. They have reeled off seven in a row since. Getting the start for Coach Springer in goal tonight will be Kenya Ortega. She's a junior, wears number 18. Also starters for Coach Springer tonight, Kate Springer, a midfielder. She's a junior, wears number one. Number four is Allie Raider, a midfielder. She's a senior. Jaden Griggs, she has uh, certainly come through again as a junior, as a forward for the Wenatchee Panthers. She wears number eight, and she's definitely one to watch. Number nine is em uh, Emmy Coldy. She's a defender, where is a, a junior. Greta Wiersma is a midfielder. She's a senior, wears number 10. Number 11 is Allie Flynn, a forward. She's a senior. Ellie Toth, also a defender. She's a junior, wears number 13. Ashley Turner wears number 14. She's a midfielder and a senior. 
Uh, Ariana Escobedo is a senior, a midfielder, and wears number 17. The number 22, Aaron Amold, is a defender. She is a senior. So there you have it. The lineups here brought to you by Arctic Refrigeration and Heating, residential and commercial heating and air conditioning. It's Arctic Refrigeration and Heating. Well, Matt, we got a chance to talk to the uh, head coach for the West Valley Rams, John Schubert, and we talked about his uh, club's domination since they joined the Big Nine. Their only loss in a league game came just a few weeks ago at home to Eastmont by a score of 4-2. to two. That's their only loss in four years of being in the Big Nine, but he was telling us they're down this year. Yeah, um, had some hard luck. High school programs <clears throat> really rely heavily on players coming in. Um, not a whole lot of time to develop a player. So it's just a quick season. Um, development typically takes place over a full year. So if, if you've got clubs feeding you, um, you're, you're doing great. Um, he's just had kind of, an, uh, of a down year. He's graduated some phenomenal players. Right. Um, and, and then hard luck with his uh, all-state goalkeeper um, transferring out and going to another school. And so uh, that can really set you back. And he's, he's uh, thrown in a goalkeeper, literally put her under the fire. It's her first time any experience uh, between the pipes. So um, baptism by fire. Right yeah, there. no kidding. And against a very tough uh, and uh, aggressive Wenatchee team. So if you're a coach and you know you've got a goalkeeper back there that's uh, raw, uh, challenges for the defenders in front, right? Oh, yeah, put her under pressure right away. Shots off, falling up. Um, get her out of her comfort zone. Bump her a little bit, you know, just kind of sure. not rough her up, but just get in her in her head and let her know you're coming to put that ball in her net and uh, hope she makes some mistakes. The Wenatchee Panthers being announced here in front of the crowd here at the Apple Bowl with the white jerseys and the purple numbers. The West Valley Rams in the baby blue and the white numbers. And thankfully, f uh, as opposed to the other night when we had Eastmont, <laughs> it's a uh, little easier to see the numbers here tonight. We're going to take yeah. a 60-second break and come back and get you ready for the kickoff next here on the NCW Life Channel. Our national anthem taken care of here at the Apple Bowl tonight. And... Uh, a smallish crowd on hand, pretty good uh, contingency of Wenatchee fans across the way in this battle for Big Nine supremacy. We uh, kind of alluded to it in the pregame show, looking at this matchup between West Valley and Wenatchee. Nine contests since Coach John Springer's taken over four years ago, and all nine have gone the way of the Rams by a cumulative score of 25-2. to two. So, Matt Weisen, I guess the, the question is, was John Schubert playing a little uh, possum with us here, talking to us in the pregame, saying they're down, or do you really think that they might be down? Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> because the first question I asked him was, well, how do you keep doing it year after year? Since you joined the Big Nine, you guys have reeled off. You tied for first. You won the three in a row. Uh, you know, your first loss in league play came earlier this year to Eastmont. Uh, how do you keep doing it? And he says, we have good players, yeah. really good players. It, it's really hard to tell. Um, I don't know Coach Schubert too well in – um, if he does play possum or not. But looking around so far, the games we've done, um, trying to gauge how good the rest of the Big Nine, big nine is. Yeah, that's tough. And, uh, it's tough. We, I, I have yet to personally see West Valley play, but the rest of the Big Nine so far has not impressed me very much. Right. Um, when actually and Eastmont are good, um, this Valley is very good. Cashmere and, and Cascade are doing well as also. So um, – We'll see right off the bat how good they are. Um, if you're uh, Coach Springer, you're telling your players that they're playing possum and they're for real. Kander Hanses <coughs> will have the kickoff here for the West Valley Rams. Our kickoff here on the broadcast brought to you by TC Slingers. No more need for wheelbarrows, shovels, or rakes. They place the material for you, and we are underway here in this battle for first in the Big Nine. West Valley with one blemish on the season. They're 4-1. and one. They're 5-2-2 two and two overall. Meanwhile, the Wenatchee Panthers... On the season, 5-0 and in Big Nine play, 7-1 and overall on the season. Ball out of bounds on the far side. Emmy, Emmy Coldy over there kicks it out of bounds. So quickly, West Valley throws it in and right to a Wenatchee Panther, but it'll be turned over in the back, although maybe not. Here's a chance on a two-on-three, and a right foot skittering across the carpet here off the foot of Allie Flynn. And the first test of the game comes in the first minute as uh, Megan Lee, their goalkeeper, was up to the task on that one. Appreciate you joining us here tonight. Just uh, opening moments of this matchup between the Wenatchee Panthers and West Valley Rams, along with Matt Wisen. I'm Eric Granstrom with your play-by-play -play here on the NCW Live channel. Don't worry, you'll have uh, Sebastian Moraga back next week. 
You put up with me one more game. Huh? You're doing great. Well, You're... thank you, man. Uh, there's a five dollar bill for you too. <laughs> <laughs> Down, and just keeping the pressure on here are the Panthers. Is West Valley will knock that ball out of bounds as uh, Kaylee Moen kicked it out here on the near sideline. And for Wenatchee coming down to throw it in, it'll be Ellie Toth. Panthers throwing in. Toth will quickly toss it back and kind of goes awkwardly off the foot of her teammate, Greta Wiersma. Ball out near midfield, but Wenatchee keeps control of it as they'll back it up to Allie Raider and they'll reset an offensive attack here. Bring it inside and a little bit too strong for the foot of her teammate. Now a collision at midfield no whistle our official by the way ed navarro is our center referee here for this one and uh nice to see ed out there ed's uh one of our top officials here from what is the local association is it Chelan county is it north central Wenatchee washington valley. Wenatchee valley okay toss in from over on the far sideline and here's a center and the kick a little bit too high off the foot of Jaden griggs Great opportunity right there. That was a fantastic ball right out in front on the doorstep there. About 15 yards away on the right foot by Jaden Griggs, and she won't miss many of those. No, um, she's she definitely won't. She'll get that doubt in soon enough. Uh, that was a great turn, good one-touch shot. Just glancing over West Valley in the first minute and a half or two minutes here of this game, they are a much, much better team than the other other opponents we've seen so far. Just as far as their spacing and what you're seeing yeah, out their, there? Yeah, their, their team shape, their speed of transitions, um, technical abilities, um, definitely um, much, much better all facets of the game than, than the Eisenhower sunny sides of the world that we've seen already. When Anchi back on the defense, picks up the ball. Coldy back there will bring it up towards midfield. It'll go out of bounds and out to West Valley. As the Rams have it on the far sideline, the Wenatchee fans... Feeling the Pioneer side across the way. We've got a few fans here on this side for the West Valley Rams who made the trip up from Yakima. Actually, beautiful night for soccer here tonight. We were blessed with another gorgeous oh, yeah. day in the Wenatchee Valley. And I've got the wrong degree there. Well, it's 72 in the booth, Matt. I don't think it's 72 outside right now, but feels pretty darn good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, fortunate. We're supposed to get some wind here this weekend. Yeah. Uh, Fortune is holding off for tonight. It can get pretty bad out there. Griggs will kick it down and trying to give chase for Wenatchee is Allie Flynn. And we got a little collision down there, and a shoe came off. Uh, one of the rims. Yeah, that was yeah. a pretty, um, pretty impressive tackle right there. Yeah, no kidding. Open space tackle, got her across the middle, and um, if she was a cornerback, that would have been perfect flat tire back there so she'll uh, fix her shoelaces meanwhile her teammates will kick it away Hallie Marshall there we go the flattened foot was Anna Hager and Marshall with the right foot chip shot near sideline caroms off a couple of players when Anchi trying to gain possession here and a little trip from behind and that's a foul as trying to collect it for the Panthers was Ariana Escobedo. Wenatchee, good confidence boosting game on Saturday as they continued their winning streak at seven games with a win, not Saturday, Tuesday night against Cashmere on the road, picking up a 4 1 victory against the Bulldogs. That was a nice win for Wenatchee. Um, definitely, a, a, uh, I anticipated a tighter match between the two. It's, it's, it's a rivalry. Mm -hmm. Those girls all know each other well and, and definitely want to. Play hard and come out with a win. A lot of you are talking about uh, club vo uh, club sports and club soccer, and I'm sure a lot of them are probably teammates of each other. Or oh, yeah. Yeah. Have been at one point or another. Yeah. Toss in here near sideline by Ellie Toth. She'll fling it ahead to Escobedo. Ball brought out to the 30-yard line and ahead from behind, and Ed Navarro's going to say a little push from behind as well as Kate Springer was trying to get herself in position for that and had a little taller ram come over the top of her. That was Kendall Sharp that came from behind. So here's a big kick for Kate Springer. She'll chip it ahead right towards the goal, and, boy, she almost backed up in the goal to catch it, Matt. Just about did. That was um, that was scary for her. Uh, I don't know if she realized how close that was. She caught it right about at the line if she drops back Within the line, it catches the ball. That's a goal. Yeah, I've seen keepers carry that ball into their own net un unknowingly. And wow. Good. Well, and there's the. Uh, we talked about how Megan Lee is very raw. This is her first time seeing varsity action in goal, and 
did he also say, did Coach Schubert say, this is her first time ever playing goalkeeper this Correct. year? Correct, yeah, first Goodness. time ever playing goalkeeper. So um, That's by the time they get to be a junior or senior, a lot of these goalkeepers have, well, I mean, the majority of the goalkeepers have a couple hundred, if not more, games right. under their belt already. especially club play and things mm -hmm. like that. And here's a turnover for Wenatchee. The uh, right foot into it, but uh, wide left by Kendra Hansis, the senior forward for the Rams, off the mark with that one. And Wenatchee will have it on a goal kick here. By the way, the Panthers have outscored opponents so far this year, 41-5. to West Valley a little bit closer, 29-12 to on the season. They're 26 goals for, 7 against in Big 9 play. Wenatchee has only given up two goals in Big 9 play this season. How yeah, about that's that? That's fantastic. Uh, I mean, there's teams that don't score 25 in a season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they've got it. We're at the halfway point. Mm-hmm. Lobby in ahead. Again, this uh, I, I was trying to configure where this game meant as far as the schedule is concerned. They did have a smokeout earlier this year. That's still to be made up, as Coach Springer said, a week from Saturday. So this game tonight is actually the one that was on the schedule. Yeah, this is the regularly scheduled game. Um, and you know, like, as Coach Springer was talking about, it's, it's kind of tough. They turn right around and play each other in about a week and a half from now also. Um, <clears throat> Wenatchee really desperately wants to get the best of them by a lot. So they'll have the mental edge going into the next game. Absolutely. Ellie Toth with it here on the near sideline. Boy, the Rams are playing aggressive, I'll say, in the latter stages or the middle stages of this first half. Yeah, they're pressing. They're going to make Wenatchee work that ball out of the back, keep possession. And um, they're not um, backing down at all. Whistle comes. They're going to say that's out of bounds off of Wenatchee. So it'll be a throw in here for West Valley. Kaylee Mullen will throw it in for the Rams. So a little quicker touches in the back, a little better spacing, quicker transitions going to help one actually keep possession, build the ball out. And a nice center there for West Valley, but Wenatchee's defense folds and is able to take that ball away. Jaden Griggs battling here at the midfield along with the Rams' Hallie Marshall. And this will carry him out of bounds on the far side, be a throw in for Wenatchee. Both teams also on the far side on their bench over there. And a header out of bounds here will go out to the Panthers. Got a little foul there, got over her back just a little bit, getting after that ball. Oh, so that will be a kick for Wenatchee. Yeah. Here in the ninth minute of this first half, scoreless so far between the Panthers and the Rams. Our broadcast brought to you in part by First Choice Collision Center and Wenatchee's uh, Heritage Memorial Chapel, also Wenatchee Great Bracket and Athletic in. Club. Here's that little bump I was talking about. Make that goalkeeper think twice about going up after that ball. And um, West Valley wins the uh, wins the free kick back in the box. Ali Raider was uh, nearly <laughs> the recipient of that uh, carom there as it came off the foot of Ashley Turner along the far side. Good leg by Turner to get that down across. Ball comes out towards midfield. Here's a chip ahead and a foot race for it down on the corner. Emmy Coldy down there for Wenatchee, and we get a hand up and a whistle. I didn't hear the whistle, but yeah, we're stoppage the of play. Line, so we got a goal kick here. Okay. Good play by the defender. Stayed calm. Um, earned earned that uh, goal kick. Tell me about the, the decision to have your your not your goalkeeper do this kick. Most most I've seen is the goalkeeper does that kick. Is it just someone that's got a little bit better foot on them? I Matt? Pref I prefer my keepers to take free kicks. Um, you get better spacing in the field, more opportunities to to possess the ball, mm -hmm. and yeah, that gets you an extra body out yeah, this way. You're playing a number down if you're having somebody else off the field take that kick. My guess is that um, the keeper has got some kind of injury. She's nursing, just doesn't want to extend really the leg, put too, leg much. too much into it. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So Ortega, the goalkeeper for Wenatchee, stays back. Meanwhile, with the free kick from the goal kick here is Ali Raider. Puts a boot into it. Ashley Turner was trying to collect it out near midfield. Jaden Griggs gets a foot on it. Feeds it over to the far side to Ali Flynn. Flynn on the attack down in the corner, and it's kicked out of bounds there. It'll be a throw in for Wenatchee. Flynn will bring it right back into Jaden Griggs. Griggs pulled from behind, no whistle, and then she goes down on the field, no whistle. Still play continues. Jaden comes up with it. Now kind of a little turnaround chip there by Ashley Turner. 
And it goes right into the awaiting hands of Megan Lee, the goalkeeper for West Valley. So Jason, Jaden just got her, uh, her wake-up call right now. I've seen that before where she's been pushed around a little bit. And um, kind of like the, uh, oh, who's that green guy when he gets angry? Oh, the Hulk? The Hulk. You don't want to anger the Hulk? Don't want to anger the Hulk. <laughs> um, same thing. So watch for Jaden to do something special here pretty soon. I think the Hulk okay. just, just woke up. Well, here's a collision right in front of the goal crease and turns out to be a shot on goal by West Valley. As uh, Kendall Sharp with the shot. Ortega right there, though, for the Panthers. Spirited first half of play here for both ball clubs. Feeling each other aren't now sharp again. This will trickle right into the waiting palms of Kenya Ortega. She'll come out left. Thought about throwing, but then she'll punt the ball away. That'll be booted there at midfield by the Rams. Couple of heads forward. Chased by Ellie Toth. And she'll kick it out of bounds. Scoreless so far as we are in the 13th minute here of the first half. Throw in near side by the Rams. Foot up high for Sharp. She'll cross over. Goes behind the goal. Good defense by Wadanchi getting down there. I think that was Ellie Toth that was giving her fits down in the corner. Mm -hmm. West Valley is still a little tentative. I think they're running a 4-3-3 here in a lot of times you'll get your width from your, your flanks on the outside, your outside backs. And they're not really sending them very much, and so they're having a difficult time getting much width um, and numbers. I think they're still trying to feel out how quick Wenatchee's going to try and counter them before they send anybody forward. Escobedo trying to bring that <clears throat> ball ahead. She'll come up and jump at uh, the 45-yard line there. Ball controlled for a moment by West Valley. It'll be booted back and then collecting it, Anna Hager. She'll come forward, but uh, kind of a miss kick there by Greta Wiersma. Then back to midfield. Nice little chip pass there to Jordan Carnes. Carnes will feed it ahead, but a nice header there for Wenatchee by Ellie Toth. Up ahead it comes, and this will just get past everybody. Head right to the goalkeeper as Megan Lee will come out and give another punt here as we're in the 14th minutes of this first half. Scoreless between the Rams and the Panthers here on the NCW Life Channel. She's got a good foot. Nice punt, yeah. Header there for Wenatchee and Escobedo chasing after it. Run for Wenatchee, Jaden Griggs tumbling down over there and trying to draw a whistle. None will come. Instead, it'll just be a throw in for Wenatchee. Matt, you were seeing something there on the transition? I was just counting that, you know, that punt. That was 50 yards in the air. And, it uh, was. It don't see many 50-yard um, punts in um, girls soccer. In girls soccer. Yeah, definitely. This one goes over the end line, so it'll be a goal kick here for West Valley. Well, the Rams so far have had the answers for any kind of approach by Wenatchee. Panthers have had a couple of good crosses here this first half so far, but... Nothing to show for it as of yet. And again, in this series between the two teams, actually it'll be a corner kick for Wenatchee. I thought that went out off of West Valley. It is out for the Rams. So here's a corner kick for the Panthers. Crosses over, and it's headed by West Valley. But right to Escobeda. She'll kick it, then try it again. A little bit too high. Nice attempt. Here in the 15th minute of this first half. Now it'll be another Ram. Haley Marshall who will kick this ball away on the goal kick here. Touch for a moment by the Panthers and then controlling it for Wenatchee is Ashley Turner. She'll try to feed ahead, but it'll be picked off there by the Rams. And then back here come the Panthers the other way. This is Aaron Amold. She'll feed it down in the corner for Ashley Turner. Turner trying to get it before it goes over the end line. She does. Touched by the Rams. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for Wenatchee. Kind of liking the flow of this transition a little bit, Matt. Yeah, Wenatchee's just um, getting right after it, pressing them, not, um, not 
taking too much time to, to build up and get a goal and uh, really wants to get that first goal in the first half of this game. Bad. Ashley Turner again on the corner kick. This one comes low and is uh, skipped out of there by West Valley as Anna Hager puts a foot into it. Escobeda chases it down for the Panthers. Here's a good transition opportunity. Out in front of the pack is Greta Wiersma. Wiersma defended down on the corner. She'll uh, boot it, but it will go off the end line and out to West Valley. A little bit rushed on that cross. Just um, got to point your planning, get your planning foot pointed in the direction. Otherwise, your hips will never, in that case, close off so she can get that ball turned. That's uh, so difficult with the ball rolling away from you to yep. get your plant foot down and get a good angle on it. Those round balls. Uh-oh, oh, here's an opportunity pace. for West Valley. Look out. Here comes Kendra Hayes. She'll get in and a nice... Save there by Wenatchee's goalkeeper, Kenya Ortega. That was a solid save by Kenya. That was a um, – that uh, West Valley player had some pace and got around, got that corner. Um, a lot of times I see that ball going in the net. Kenya stayed big, stayed up, um, and, and that was a really solid block by Kenya. Well, we're seeing that Kendra Hansis and Kendall Sharp are the two ball handlers here for West Valley in this first half. Hallie Marshall will be the uh, corner kick – for West Valley, across, and they came in strong, but the ball skips away from everybody, goes out of bounds on the far side. I don't know if anybody touched it. I don't think they no. did. So it'll be out to Wenatchee on a throw in. They had a player coming in from the weak side over there. I believe that was Jordan Carnes that was coming streaking in on that kick from the corner, but it sails over everybody's heads. So now the throw in by Wenatchee will skip up around the 40-yard line. Here at the Apple Bowl tonight. Scoreless first half so far. Ricochets off a couple of players. Jaden Griggs out there trying to collect it for Wenatchee and then stolen away by Kate Springer. Springer's going to boot it across, but it'll go right to a ram as Marshall collects it. Now it's picked up again. There's a feed in front. Turner was there. Ball kind of caroms around and picked up by Jaden Griggs. It hit oh. the crossbar and bounces out. Oh, my. From about 26 yards out, Jaden Griggs, the ball bounced. She was able to get a rifle shot off with her left foot. Just hit the crossbar and ricocheted out. Yeah, I'd love to see that one again. The AR, AR was off the action just a little bit, and it sure looked like it was bar down and in, but yeah. um, it happened really quick. Had a little English on it, too, so when it yeah. hit the ground, it came back out. So I guess benefit of the doubt there. Panthers back in the attack zone here. Ball comes out to Springer. Springer chips it across, and there's a West Valley Ram to intercept it. Oh, well, West Valley, you talked about their spacing and good club, good uh, education as far as soccer is concerned. And I don't know anything about soccer, but they just seem to have the good spacing, and they seem to be in those lanes to be able to pick off passes. Yeah, they move up and down. You've probably heard me say it before, as a group or as a unit, right. uh, much better, much more connected. Um, so they're not overplaying the ball and leaving massive areas of space open. We had a throw in here near sideline as Kaylee Moen will throw it in, trying to get it to her teammate down in the corner, and she collects it across. When Anchi's stepping in front, nice job to kick it out of bounds by Aaron Ummel down there. That was a dangerous ball in there. Yeah, Kaylee Mullen again with that uh, ball off of her foot. Kendra Hansis down there as well for West Valley. For It'll be a uh, corner kick here for West Valley. Again, watch out. Haley Marshall will do the honors down in the corner to our right. Scoreless game so far. Here comes the kick. Cross. Right in front of the goal, still loose. Opportunity, they'll kick it back to Marshall. In the corner, it'll go right there, and an own goal is going to go oh, in. No, looks like we got an offside. Offside's going to be whistled against West Valley. My, oh, my, that was close. That was really close. Oh, goodness. West Valley's putting Wenatchee under some, under some pressure. I don't think Wenatchee's seen for a while. Ball was kind of bouncing around back there. Looked like it went off the foot to Veli Toth. For the Panthers, but no goal. Offsides West Valley. Now a chip ahead and a chance for the Panthers. Ball around the 30-yard line. Jaden Griggs giving chase, and now we're going to get a whistle and a foul against Wenatchee. 
So a free kick for the Rams. Here in the 20th minute, 21st minute of this first half. Panthers here near sideline trying to control. This ball's going to go out of bounds. So it'll be a throw in. Jaden Griggs will grab it. Toss it ahead to her teammate, Allie Flynn. Back to Griggs. Griggs a little two-person game here. Watch out. Jaden Griggs right in front. Put the left, right foot into it, but nice slide tackle there. And now a chip shot bouncing around. Tipped away from the hands of the goalkeeper for a moment off the foot of Allie Flynn. But she'll hold on to it. Well, you said uh, Jaden Griggs would uh, show us a little something. That was a nice approach on that offensive set there for the Panthers. Yeah, I'd be surprised if she doesn't tally one or two tonight, the, the, the way she's playing. West Valley, though, you know, we were talking about whether they were playing possum or not. I think we found out the, the answer to that question. Yeah, I, I think they're up to the task here. At least they are so far through uh, – uh, I'm doing the math here. On, and the, Don't ask me to do math. A little We're more in the than 20, halfway through. 23rd minute. Is that how that works? 22nd minute Yeah. of this first half. 22nd, 20 I'm, I'm, seconds. I'm, yeah, I'm used to the scoreboard uh, counting up instead of counting down. Yeah, I, it should be counting up Yeah. as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it helped this announcer for that's for sure. So West Valley with the ball here at midfield as Jordan Carnes... We'll kick it ahead, but right there to intercept is Allie Raider for Wenatchee. Appreciate you joining us here tonight on the NCW Life Channel. Our broadcast brought to you by Walkabout Grill and Wenatchee and Leavenworth. Take a walk on the wild side. And town Nissan, your local East Wenatchee Nissan dealer, where honesty and transparency come first. Good punt again by their goalkeeper, Megan Lee. Can certainly extend things and get the ball where you want it to be on an attack. If you can get it across midfield. We've seen that a couple of times here so far for the Rams. Throw in for Wenatchee on the far sideline. Ball will come in to Greta Wiersma and then a quick whistle on a push. A little rough play by Kendall Sharp. And we are seeing some bodies mm -hmm. bouncing off of each other here so far, Matt. Yeah, definitely. They're um, not backing down. They both want to get this win really <laughs> bad. Uh, set the stage going into next week's contest against each other. I was just going to say, Greta is really covering lots of ground tonight, much more than I've seen her cover in the last couple games we've done. Um, so she is um, somebody lit a fire under her, too, and she's playing really well so far. Ball picked off here at midfield by the Panthers' Amold. She'll feed over to the far side. Nice little footwork over there. Escobeda. Now we'll head up down towards the goal crease, and right there to scoop it up is Megan Lee again for the West Valley Rams. Not a lot of direct shots on goal here in this one. A couple for the Panthers. One for West Valley so far. They've had a couple of close calls out in front. And there's a push. <clears throat> They're going to say it's off of Wenatchee. No yeah, call on the push. No call, but that was a foul. Yeah. Reaching around, grabbing her back is Aaron Amold on that elbow that she got right between the shoulder blades. Tossed down in the corner and tried to kick it to herself to control it was Jordan Carnes lost the control and what answer will have a throw in this will ricochet off of uh, Ram and out of bounds to the Panthers our broadcast also brought to you by Collins Fashions in downtown Wenatchee real clothes for real women and town Chrysler Jeep Dodge your town Chrysler family store where people get nice surprises there's just a big club of a ball and that uh, could turn out good here for West Valley and trying to bring a crossing shot across was Kendra Hansis. It'll skip out of bounds off the end line. Good and idea. It'll West, be a, another West, corner kick. West Valley is building numbers on that far side, and a yep. little quick, quick kick across the middle was, was looking pretty dangerous. So they'll uh, group up again here on the far side on this corner kick, as it will be Hallie Marshall who will do it. Panthers trying to man up here, and here comes the kick. And the approach across, header, bounces around, and it will be off of a Panther here near sideline. Goes out of bounds on a throw-in for West Valley. That looked a little dangerous, too, right there. That um, You never want that ball bouncing around inside your, your six-yard box, and, and um, weird things happen. Yeah. 
The ball, even though it's round, can take some interesting bounces, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Throw in, and it goes over the head of uh, everybody and goes out of bounds. So it'll be a goal kick for the Panthers. And again, Ortega will give ground to Allie Raider to do the honors. So I think you're right. She might have a little bit of a leg issue she's dealing with. So the boot here comes past midfield. Immediately kicked by Marshall. Rams doing a great job using their bodies here. So a uh, physical contest, we'll say, for the Wenatchee Panthers here in this big night tilt and a battle for first place and so forth scoreless as we're heading towards the seventh or the uh, twenty or the seventeenth minutes <coughs> of the first half. Ball coming out of bounds on the near side, so it'll be another throw in for Wenatchee. Well, nice idea for the Panthers there by Allie Flynn, but nobody over there except for blue jerseys. And this ball skipped down towards the box here for Ortega. Everybody taking a deep breath, catching their wind a little bit, and the ball came out to midfield. Chipped up high in the air, and Kaylee Mullen will come down with it for the Rams. Heads up dribble for Anna Hager. Now the ball stolen away by the Panthers. The Springer has it. Good job of ball control there. Kind of telegraphed her shot a little bit. Now a pass ahead for the Panthers as it's Greta Wiersma. Wiersma looking for a centering shot, giving chase for the Panthers. As Ellie Toth, it'll go out of bounds near sideline and out to the Rams. Or will it be a throw in for Wenatchee? Wenatchee throw in. Saying it hit the Rams last. So Panther opportunity here near sideline. The throw in comes. Escobeda chases it down. Turns, looking for a center. And right there, Jaden Griggs. And the ball will go out of bounds off of West Valley. So it'll be a corner kick for Wenatchee. Dangerous ball there. A little lack of communication between the keeper and the back. And, and uh, almost... Found its way through. That's something, too, that, uh, you know, they should be talking all the time, right? Yeah. That keeper Back there. And if you've got a brand-new person never played goalkeeper before, hard to get them trained in that. Yep. They need to be probably the most vocal person on the field. They see the field the whole time. they got the best view. They can control their back line. Corner and kick for the Panthers headed by West Valley right there in front. And so far on those corner kicks, Wenatchee has had, they've only had the bodies in the right spot uh, one time. Otherwise, it's been touched by the Rams each time. Yep, and just earned another corner here. Doing the honors for the uh, Panthers is Maddie Smith. So Maddie will go down and try it again from the corner left. Puts her hand up to tell her teammate she's ready to go. And everybody starts to move. Now Maddie approaches with the left foot, uh, crossing again, and the ball came down to the ground this time at least. It'll be booted out of bounds by West Valley, out to the Panthers on a throw in. Ellie Toth will throw it in from the far side over there. Looking for room down in the corner, and that's all Rams down there, so the Panthers will be awarded with another corner kick, this time from the right side. That near post is, is uh, looking tempting. They're really overloading that far post, but um, last time, I don't know if they had a near post defender. <clears throat> they do this time, but no near post runners, and maybe that could open something up. Cross for Wenatchee. The goalkeeper came out, touched the ball, the ball loose. Watch out now. Maybe a transition opportunity for West Valley, but Wenatchee right there. The ball skitter out of bounds here on the near side. Be out to... <clears throat> the Panthers on a throw in. Yeah, good job by the center back there getting in front of that 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 player from West Valley. She's really looking to make a one-on-one -on -one opportunity and get through. Header here at midfield and skips off about three heads before it finally touches the surface here at the Apple Bowl tonight. Ball be touched last by Wadanchi. Throw in for West Valley. Well, for what West Valley is delivering physically, it seems the the Panthers are answering back on uh, some uh, 
physical play, we'll say. And now here's an opportunity, but little arm bar there. Let's see if they're going to call Wenatchee for the foul. I think they will. Yeah. Um, I think the defender there was working working to block the attacker more than she was actually trying to play, play the ball. Emmy Coldy whistled for the foul there. Kendra Hansis, who's been all over the field tonight, was the ram that was trying to gain possession there. And so it will be a free kick. And watch out for this one. Hallie Marshall will do the honors here from the 15-yard line. So from 20 yards out right side, here's the first real good chance for West Valley to ring the bell here tonight. Marshall with Great. the kick. Oh. And it's kicked right in front of the net, but goes over high off the leg of Lexi Mason. And the Panthers... Get away with one there. He dodged a big bullet right there. That was that was a perfect kick. Looked like goal for sure. So the Panthers bring a sigh of relief as we're in the 22nd minute here of this first half. Or I should say 32nd minute. So we're under eight minutes left of the first half. Jaden Griggs couldn't find the ball <laughs> after it caromed high off of her leg. And now West Valley trying to possess it but no it's going to go out to Wenatchee boy if Jaden could have found that they had an opportunity there with numbers Escobeda on the uh, feed to her on the throw in crosses over to Turner Turner had the ball picked away from her but a nice collection over there by Toth Toth will go back out towards midfield as Wenatchee will reverse it again little give and go here for the Panthers and a feed ahead and Griggs was there but a little bit too far for her. So the goalkeeper will come out, Megan Lee, and collect it for the Rams. 33rd minutes approaching here of this first half scoreless so far. And we're going to get offsides a little push off or a there. push. Ashley Turner came out to try to collect that ball. They're going to say that uh, she was shoved there by Kendall Sharp. And so a kick for Wenatchee as Allie Rader will do the honors. Off to Escobedo. Escobedo goes down far side. And then a cross that comes way out here to kind of no man's land. But the Panthers, Greta Wiersma collects it. Wiersma lost the handle. Picked up by the Rams. Then Karam's off of a Panther. Ball ricocheting around. Goes down in the corner for Griggs. Griggs with the foot control. Kicks it back here. Oh, opportunity for the Panthers as uh, Wiersma looked like she was set up for the shot from there. Now down to Griggs in the corner. Griggs will feed across, but there's a ram there to boot it out of bounds. It'll be out to Wenatchee on a throw in. Yeah, these West Valley defenders are too quick to be taking more than one or two touches back there. And yeah, boy, right. she had a wide open gap there. <laughs> looked like uh, Wiersma did to take a shot on goal, but just couldn't get her feet set right. Now Escobedo with a cross. Mm. Nobody there. Panthers kind of fighting with each other out towards midfield there. And then the ball turned over. And then collecting it is Raider. Raider feeds ahead to Griggs. Griggs near side. Ball picked from her. It's still loose down in the corner. And the West Valley Rams going to collect it there and pass it back towards center. And now the right foot of Kaylee Moen will bring it out near midfield. And this is a whistle and stoppage. And we're going to go the other way as it'll be a free kick here for West Valley. What was the whistle there, Matt? No, just a little bit too much in the back, I okay. think. Good kick over the center, and Wenatchee clears it out of there. But again, a dangerous ball right in front. Panthers defending. No whistle as the Ram was taken down on the play. Ashley Turner stops at a midfield, has body coming from behind her. She'll chip it ahead. Over there to Sanchez Blanco, who checked in. She's knocked down, and there's the whistle. Blanco still in a pile over there at the 29-yard line. So, of course, that brings the ire of the Panther fans across the way. And will be a free kick for Wenatchee from about the... They're going to put it at inside the 30 to the 27, so that's... 32 yards out to Ashley Turner, who's certainly shown she has a strong leg from outside. Looks like she'll get the uh, directions from Coach John Springer before she approaches. 
Yeah, I'd go ahead and try and see if you can skip this thing in there and just and uh, make that keeper make a save. Turner with the high chip shot. Ricochets back. Panthers there. <clears throat> this ball is going to be chased down towards midfield by Wadanchi. Escobedo, nice footwork there to keep the ball in control by the Panthers as we're down in the last four minutes or so here of this first half. Chip ahead. Anybody there for Wenatchee? It's going to go out of bounds. That was a good idea there for West Valley by Haley Marshall. I think she realized that she didn't have the speed to keep up with the Panther that was trailing it, Maddie Smith, and so she mm -hmm. kicks it out of bounds. Jaden Griggs with a kick over her head. I think it was, she was just trying to feed herself on that and went a little bit too far, so West Valley will kick it out of bounds again. 37th minute to this first half. Substitution for the Panthers. John Springer gaining some fresh legs back in the contest here for Wenatchee. Haven't seen many subs yet tonight. Pass down <laughs> in low to Griggs, and they'll again kick it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in again for the Panthers on the far side. Under three minutes to go here in this first half. Ball comes in on a header, and West Valley again just going to root it out of bounds. And again, the task that back there by Marshall. Pass in to the Panthers. Down in the corner. Ball comes out center, but right to the foot of a West Valley Ram. And almost a handball could have been called there against the Panthers, but this one will carry them down near side. Look out. There's the hot foot of Kendra Hansis. Hansis with some nifty footwork there. West Valley with bodies in front of the goal. Wenatchee defending the ball loose. Down in the corner, Hansis went down to try to slide and get after it. So the ball will go off of the foot of Valley Raider out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for West Valley here. Just about two minutes left of this first half. Hey, Kendra's a um, pretty stout player. She's got great footwork, really quick, kind of deceivingly fast. Throw in comes, and then Springer will boot it out towards midfield. <clears throat> and the ball will trickle back as we are now under two minutes left of this first half of play. Scoreless between Wenatchee and West Valley in this battle for first place. To Springer. Wenatchee. Looked in good condition there for a moment. Allie Flynn had it. Now Escobedo has it. Near side it comes. To Turner. Turner tried to feed in the middle there. And a header attempt by Toth, and it will go far side, almost out of bounds, saved in by West Valley. Final few moments here of this first half. You don't want to give up a tough one right here before halftime. And they're going to whistle against Wenatchee there. And so it'll be, uh, well, no, just goes out of bounds off the Panthers. So a throw in here for West Valley. Far sideline in front of the Wenatchee bench. It comes in. Little chip ahead. Wenatchee there to defend it, however. Again, Alley Raider steps in front. Panthers back it up, see if they can get some room down the far side. Instead, the ball will go out of bounds on a defended play by West Valley. A throw down low to Jaden Griggs on the right side in the corner. And again, it goes out of bounds. Griggs will quickly toss it back in to Raider. Raider kicks it back. And now a cross. Going to be picked up by the goalkeeper there, Morgan Lee. Final few ticks left to this clock here, the first half. A punt to midfield. It will be off of a head of the Panthers and could have been maybe a little hook called there as collecting it was Kendra Hansis again for the Rams. Here's a sh uh, opportunity to shot. Hansis down in the corner, no. By herself. Defense comes, ball trickling, and still loose. Boy, a dangerous ball there. Yeah, I think um, West Valley got away with a little foul there, shoving the back. Slow to get up on the play, Alley Raider for the Panthers, and a punt, and that'll be the first half of play. So, one half in the books and no score between the West Valley Rams and the Wenatchee Panthers as we are bringing it to you right here from the Apple Bowl on the NCW Life Channel. We'll take a two-minute break and come back with more from halftime here of this scoreless half between the Rams and Panthers. We're back after this two-minute timeout. 
Welcome back to the Apple Bowl here at halftime between the Wenatchee Panthers and the West Valley Rams. Scoreless first half and not many shots on goal. I think I counted three for Wenatchee, one for West Valley. You know, I'm, I'm still new at this match, so there may have been more than I saw, but not a lot as the ball's been defended really well once it gets down in the uh, offensive end towards the goals. Yeah, um, definitely a defensive battle. Um, West Valley knows who who Wenatchee's scores are, and, and they're definitely surrounding that ball quickly, trying to limit the number of shots, uh, not giving them much time at all to look to shoot, um, <clears throat> forcing Wenatchee to get a little creative. Yeah. So if you're John Springer, what are you talking to your troop about here at halftime? Just um, that? How are you going to get your your scorers open, I guess? Yeah. and you got to kick them open? How do you do that? Usually not. Um, typically, you're looking to combine. I mean, they're always – have the counterattack option if West Valley starts pressing late to get a goal and, and leaving some people open or with one-on-one -on -one opportunities for over the top, then that's fine. Other than that, I think um, because they are collapsing on the ball so quickly, quick combination play inside the attacking third for Wenatchee. Um, a handful of uh, opportunities have turned into kind of individual opportunities, I guess, in the game. And um, while uh, Jaden has, has made quite a bit out of them, I think if she takes one quick little pass, um, either cause she can find somebody open or play off of that player mm -hmm. and, and find herself with a much better look at goal. So um, a couple other quick combination play inside the attacking third, and I think they're going to find some find some pay dirt. Meanwhile, our discussion with uh, Ch Coach John Schubert uh, before the game, uh, West Valley coach uh, definitely playing possum with us, saying that we're just going to try to keep up with Wenatchee tonight. Uh, they're doing more than that. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> as we've seen, they've, they've got some pace. And um, coming down the right side, putting the pressure on Wenatchee's left side, um, was that uh, Kendra Hansis, number nine. Right. Um, <clears throat> she's a player, and she's really combined a little bit with Jordan Carnes, um, who's also uh, frustrated some of the Wenatchee players as well. Very physical. Uh, they're not backing down at all, and um, they want to win this game, and, and it's apparent. So uh, Wenatchee can't, has to, I guess, keep those players in mind when they're possessing the ball. Look to um, bracket those players once they turn the ball over so they can't Im immediately try and hit them over the top. Mm -hmm. uh, and, then, and then you've got to work as a unit to either keep pressing and turn the ball back over or get behind the ball, delay and get behind the ball. Well, and there's been a couple of golden opportunities for West Valley in that first half where the ball got loose <coughs> in front of the nets on, on a couple of those cross. One was a cross from down in the right corner. Another was an actual corner kick. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're Coach John Springer, you're saying clear that ball. Get it out of there. Don't let it hang around for a while because that's, that's danger zone. You never want to let it bounce. And um, I don't know how much Wenatchee's been put under pressure like right. that right. this year. So it's a... It is a wake-up call for defenders. You don't have time to, to mess around. You've got to mark tight, and when that ball comes in, just it's your ball. Be dominant. Get after it. Clear it out. We've seen the physical play in this first half. A few whistles here and there, but they're letting them be pretty aggressive. Do you, do you like that? I mean, they, uh, you yeah. know, the officials know this is for first place in the Big Nine. These are two of the best teams of the Big Nine, so we're going to let them play to yeah. a point. And I'm not seeing anything mean-spirited out here. No, no, it's so just hard, it, rough play. And, and I think the game's being called correctly that way. If, if it was – there's no indication that it's getting ramped up either. Right. No. So, so far, um, Ed is doing a great job of letting this, this game – um, play and and um, he's kind of along for the ride. He's right. calling fouls as, as he sees them, but there's nothing um, being ramped up. So, I think too, from the perspective of the teams, it's different. What Anchi probably sees this as a rivalry game, where West Valley does not. I mean, for it to be a rivalry, it has to be kind of even between the two schools. Mm -hmm. Where West Valley has been dominant since they joined the Big Nine four years ago. So, <clears throat> I guess from what Anchi's perspective, yeah, this is a rivalry. Yeah, we're amped up for this for West Valley. Uh, show me first, and then we'll have a rivalry. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much West Valley circles Wenatchee on their calendar. Yeah, no. So you're right there. Uh, Wenatchee definitely sees this as a rivalry. They they want to, to get the better hand, 
and and um, put their stamp on this game um, <clears throat> and let West Valley know that they're for real. Uh, I think this is a, a great opportunity. It's a great year for Wenatchee. They've got several upper-class ladies right. on this team. And um, while he does have quite a bit of talent coming up, um, he's loaded right now. Yeah. Well, and the one thing that, that uh, for both teams, really, as we are at the halfway point of the season with the Big Nine, we're exactly at the halfway point. You know, Wenatchee wins this game, they get a two-game advantage in conference play. Um, but you look at as far as benchmarks, and both coaches kind of talked about that. We they know it's West Valley, it's Eastmont, it's Wenatchee, kind of the top three teams in the Big Nine. So another benchmark game for both of these teams coming in, and, and both coaches mentioned that. Yep, uh, Wenatchee needs wants that two game cushion really bad. West Valley <clears throat> is closer to kind of that big pile up, right around number three. And it's any person's game at that point. They know that if they get the top two, they get a little bit of breathing room. They get a, a better, much better chance of going on to state. Right. Um, so there's a lot to play for tonight outside of just getting the upper hand for the next game. Absolutely. A ton to play for. You want to be in the top two. We're going to take another break and come back. A, a Two-minute timeout here as we get ready for second half play between Wenatchee and uh, West Valley. It's scoreless through one half. We're back with second half action coming up after this two-minute timeout here on the NCW Life Channel. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready for second half action between the Wenatchee Panthers and the West Valley Rams here on the NCW Life Channel, along with Matt Wise and I'm Eric Granstrom. Our broadcast brought to you by Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge, your Town Chrysler family store where people get nice surprises. Collins Fashions in downtown Wenatchee, real clothes for real women. Town Nissan, your local East Wenatchee Nissan dealer where honesty and transparency come first. And Walkabout Grill in Wenatchee and Leavenworth. Take a walk on the wild side. Our second half kickoff. Brought to you by TC Slingers. No more need for wheelbarrows, shovels, or rakes. They'll place the material for you at TC Slingers. Well, ready for the second half. Going to be an interesting one here, Matt. When yeah. actually got out to a quick start, and then West Valley with a nice counter for the rest of that first half. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Um, they were both kind of feeling each other out, but getting after it. And then West Valley, they definitely saw something they thought they could, could take advantage of. And really put Wenatchee under some pressure there a couple times in that first half. It was, it's been a fun game to watch. They're, mm -hmm. they're, um, I don't know if they're evenly matched. I think Wenatchee's had a little better run of play. But um, West Valley is for real. Yeah, absolutely. So here we go. Wenatchee will have the kickoff to start this second half. And out there for the Panthers, Allie Flynn has the ball under foot right now. She's out there along with Kate Springer and Ashley Turner here at midfield. Looks like uh, Ariana Escobedo is out there on the uh, center circle as well, along with Greta Wiersma. Back on defense for the Panthers, Aaron Amold, along with Emmy Coldy, Allie Raider, and on the far side, Ellie Toth. And we do have a new keeper in net for Wenatchee. We saw that during halftime, as it is now Haley Matthews in goal for Wenatchee. So he wondered if Ortega had an injury of some sort that she was dealing with. But uh, here's our change at halftime with a new goalkeeper for Wenatchee. Meanwhile, Panthers had the ball at midfield. They keep it alive as it comes over to Escobedo. Great ball, now great a run. ball in front <clears throat> and colliding bodies down there. Jaden Griggs in perfect position on a nice feed for her. But give credit to the Rams. Yeah, I was defended about as well as you can hope for her. And, um, a perfectly um, sent in ball and a, and a great slicing run. Griggs along the far sideline will uh, keep it alive and then a bump with a body. Ball goes out of bounds and will be out to Wenatchee here. Didn't know if Ed Navarro or our official call a foul. He did call a foul over there, so he did catch that bump. So yeah. on the far side, it's Allie Raider with the kick. The boot towards the goal. Oh, Headed in. Go. And a goal for Wenatchee. Beautiful pass on the kick. Over on the far side from Alley Raider. 
And the goal for the Panthers by Kate Springer. So the Panthers score in the second minute of the second half. Yeah, she came in clean, unmarked. Um, just kind of caught West Valley flat-footed and, and um, was perfect finish by Kate Springer by Kate with Springer. the goal. How about that for the Panthers? So they strike first. Now we'll see if West Valley has an answer. Here's the woman who had the assist, Allie Raider. Kicks it out of bounds on the far side. It'll be out to the throw in over there by West Valley. The Rams look like they have their original starters out there for Coach John Schubert. So it's uh, Megan Lee in goal. And I don't fault her for that goal. That was just a that was player that redirect. got wide open for the Panthers. Ball go over the end line. So it'll be a goal kick here for the Panthers. Rest of the lineup in there for Coach Schubert. Claire Johnston is out there along with Anna Hager. Hallie Marshall. Got to watch for Kendall Sharp and Kendra Hansis. Those were the two really good ball handlers that we saw in that first half of play. Comes down to Lily Fetzer. Nice opportunity for the Panthers there, but defended nicely by the West Valley Rams. West Valley currently second place coming in. Wenatchee first place to the Big Nine. Panthers trying to hold on to that first place spot all alone and get two games in the advantage here in this uh, halfway point of the season. Ball comes out towards midfield. Right there for the Panthers, Aaron Amold. Amold feeds to Escobedo. We got uh, a lot of body shoving going on. They're going to whistle Wenatchee for the foul. That could have gone either way. Yeah, you know, I, sometimes it uh, it just ramps up and, and uh, there's a foul in there somewhere. Um, usually earlier on, he's just letting go. And then as soon as somebody loses um, advantage, he'll call it and bring it back to the original. Nice give and go for the Panthers. A little bit too far for Jaden Griggs down there, but don't be surprised if she comes up with it. Slide tackle there. Goes out of bounds, and it will be Wenatchee ball. Boy, Jaden just seems to find the right spots. Mm -hmm. Just has a good eye and a good feel for where she needs to be. Ball went all the way down the ramp down over there, so... Yeah, I call that the, the pit of despair. <laughs> it is. They should just have somebody posted over there collecting those uh, balls that go down that way. Here's a cross, but uh, deflected by the Rams. Wenatchee's come out with a uh, little zest, a little uh, spring to their step here in the second half, now leading it 1-0. On a goal in the 42nd minute and a collision down in the corner down there. Panther goes sprawling to the ground and corner kick. And Navarro says it's going to be a corner kick for Wenatchee, so an opportunity. Yeah, I don't know how much that was a foul. I think that um, Wenatchee was a little off balance when they they um, kick had the some Panthers. connection there, and um, one player went down, and one player stayed up. But it's not necessarily a foul there. So here comes a corner kick. Ashley Turner over there with the right foot into it in front again, headed by West Valley. Escobedo giving chase out to your mid midfield. Picked up there by the Panthers. And a chip ahead by Emmy Coldy. And they'll turn it around and West Valley will collect it here on the near side. Ball skips off the knee and out of bounds off of Aaron Amold. So it's out to West Valley on a throw in by Claire Johnston here near side. Johnston will boot it ahead. Chested there by Allie Raider and then punted out of bounds. So again, a throw in for the Rams. Wenatchee well, just defending each throw in here. As they, at that time, they tried to get it to Kendall Sharp. Again, Johnston with the throw in. Sharp is there. Controls crosses but it caroms off of a panther and now the ball comes way outside as it's Kaylee Moen collecting it for West Valley. Jaden Griggs will keep it in bounds on the far side over there. 
get a little give and go, but the uh, go was a little bit too far in front of her. Off the foot of Greta Wiersma. Throw in far sideline by Kaylee Moen. Moen with a good pass in, but right there the Panthers again. Far side to Griggs. Griggs feeds ahead. Ball skips off the defender there, Anna Hager. Panthers give chase. Hager will put a left foot into it. Griggs will hit it at midfield. And now Wiersma with it. Push from behind. Keeps the ball alive. And right there to a ram. And the ball's going to go out of bounds. A throw in for Wadanchi. One goal in this one came in the 42nd minutes here of the second half. On a free kick off the foot of Allie Raider. Right in front of the goal, finding Kate Springer. Springer connects for the goal. And that's where we're at right now, 1-0. Panthers on top. And we're going to get a foul here, whistled against Wenatchee. <laughs> so here's a golden opportunity for West Valley as they're going to get this opportunity from about 23 yards out. Yeah, another uh, dangerous spot. Yeah, penalty kick from the right side, and typically <laughs> you're right-footed, so that's your power foot over there. And again for West Valley, it'll be Haley Marshall, looks in the, like. In the first half, when actually defended this with two in the wall. Right now they've got three in the wall. I think they learned their lesson on, the, on that first one. Well, it, will it be Marshall? No. A little give and go here, and the ball goes out of bounds. And, and a little pushing and shoving going on over there. And we'll see if we get a card here. No, from Ed tomorrow. I think he's doing some preventative officiating. As Lily Fetzer got tied up over there with Jaden Griggs. Kind of a little extracurricular push after the fact. But we're going to get a corner kick here for West Valley. So the Rams trying to tie it up here. Panthers again this season have only given up two goals in Big Nine play. Over in the corner with the kick, it'll be Hallie Marshall. Marshall with a good kick, loose in front, skips around past everybody. And then Ashley Turner is going to kick it out of bounds, but actually it hit a West Valley Ram, and it will be a Wenatchee ball. West Valley is looking really dangerous on those set pieces in there. Well, they are. A good movement off the ball and uh, really causing some difficulties for Wenatchee to, to keep their mark. And here's a ball <laughs> stolen away by West Valley. Picked up there defensively for the Panthers. But again, Kendall Sharp showing she is fleet afoot. And now the ball stolen away. Here comes Escobedo at midfield. Escobedo <clears throat> kind of got that ball a little out of sorts. And now we're going to get a whistle. Escobedo collided with her foot against the uh, foot of Marshall. She comes up limping a little bit and catches the eye of Ed Navarro, so he blows the whistle. Yeah, Ariana had... Um... Ashley Turner streaking down the right side. Just held that ball just a little too long. I think it might have been a little a little winded there when she's trying to recover. <clears throat> and uh, came in late on that, that challenge and, and uh, clipped West Valley pretty good. Marshall kicks it ahead, and the right-footed uh, boot of Kendall Sharp goes wide right. And again, Wadanchi's new goalkeeper, Haley Matthews, will drop back. Collect this, put it on the corner of the goal, and uh, kick it away here for the Wenatchee Panthers. As we are 10 minutes into the second half, the 50th minute, uh, if you will, of this contest between the Panthers and the Rams in this battle for first place. Edge to Wenatchee so far, 1-0. Along with Matt Wise and Eric Grantstrom with you here on the NCW Life Channel. Our broadcast brought to you in part by First Choice Collision Center. Heritage Memorial Chapel and Wenatchee Racket and Athletic Club. Ball goes out of bounds on the far side, so out to West Valley. Temperatures chilling on this October night. So we've had some beautiful days with temperatures near 70, but nighttime getting awfully chilly. Fall like leaves starting to change their colors. A little warmer than um, Tuesday night. Wow, that was a dangerous look <laughs> there for Wenatchee. The ball trickling in front of the goal is chasing after it was Claire Johnston for the Rams. Yeah. 
Far side, Jaden Griggs with it. She's had a couple of looks so far in this game, but nothing so far. Turner will chase it down, pass it off here near side to Coldy. Coldy kicks it ahead. And now Jaden Griggs, the always dangerous one over there on the left side, about 15 yards away. But the Rams, you talked about it. They know she is marked, a marked person out there for Wenatchee. Yeah. So every time the ball comes anywhere near her, there's at least two jerseys nearby mm -hmm. for the West Valley Rams. They're collapsing on her really quick. Um, might might end up using her as a, as a decoy. Yeah. Ball comes out. We had a collision and a foul going to be called. And Wenatchee's going to get a free kick from a gorgeous position about 15 yards away. And a and yellow, yellow card, card. going to be whistled here by our center referee, Ed Navarro. And this will be whistled on Anna Hager. Somebody said something he didn't like to hear. And um, that's where you really got to keep your composure. And um, Otherwise, you're going to see a little uh, card come out. So the penalty against West Valley. And now the Rams going to set up the wall over there. But they're a little too close there, aren't they, Coach? Yep. So Ed Navarro will say, here's the 10-yard mark. Or is it 11? <clears throat> 10. 10 yards. That's how close they can be with that wall. And Ashley Turner will do the honors here for the Wenatchee Panthers. Ashley approaches, and now the kick, and it's off the top of the crossbar and over. Good attempt for Wenatchee. Yeah, it's tough to dip that ball over that wall when you're that close in. Yeah. So that was, that was a great kick. Just, um, just mishit it just a touch, but that was, that was a really good looking ball. So the goalkeeper for the West Valley Rams, Megan Lee, will put it down on the corner and kick it away. I believe that's Megan Lee, or maybe that is their backup goalkeeper. Well, they don't even have one on the roster, so I think that's Megan Lee still. She has a one on her back, but they list her on the roster as a zero. Panthers trying to get the ball back. Nice footwork there. Now to Jaden Griggs out in front. Griggs looking left side, feed it back over to Wearsma. Wearsma on the shot, just a little high. We're going to say that corner yeah, kick yeah. here for Wenatchee. So touched by West Valley. So that was a good looking shot there. Wearsma, the last time we saw her shoot, she took one too, too many touches. Mm -hmm. And that was just a quick one touch left foot that surprised the keeper and just about found its way to the back of the net. So the Panthers will have a corner kick again. Ashley Turner will do the honors down on their corner right here. And it comes in, and she'll collect it back, and then chip it across, and it hits a ram. Turner right there again chips it across. This time touches Wenatchee, and a little bit too high on the foot off of Valley Raider. And this time it'll be a goal kick for West Valley. West Valley needs to settle down just a little bit. They got a little rattled there. And, yeah, they um, did. Their communication is starting to um, fail. This kick comes out near midfield and then skips behind. That's kind of dangerous. So Wenatchee scurries back to corral it. Springer battling over there with Carnes. West Valley will get it down in, and it will go out of bounds and out to Wenatchee on a throw in. That was almost a handball there by the Panthers. No call. Ooh, Ooh. Escobedo got hit hard. It goes <laughs> down to the ground, and that's yeah. going to be a yellow card as well. This time it is on Kendall Sharp, and Sharp will have to come out of the game for a moment. Second yellow card of the game against the Rams. And I don't think that was a, a rough play. I think the, the, the two just collided. They were both going for the ball. Yeah, I think she was a little, to, to me, I thought it was a little reckless. Came in pretty hard. Um, I, I think what he's, he called his differential force probably instead of the, the okay. reckless challenge, gotcha. which keeps that a yellow card. Um, yep. Ball skips out of bounds far side off of West Valley. Throw in by Springer down there in the corner. The Rams this time, they're going to kick it out in the corner and give uh, Wenatchee another corner kick. Back there defending was Caitlin Moen. Substitute here for the Rams. So the Rams with a couple of bodies that are non-starters out there right now. See if Wenatchee with the experience can take advantage here. 
Coach John Schubert did say he's got a young club this year. Ashley Turner over in the corner left with the corner kick for Wenatchee. Here's the cross. Again, West Valley with a header in front. And Claire Johnson looks like she's clearing the cobwebs a little bit after that one. Yeah, I, I, I hate headers. That, uh, you know, I was fine in high school with them, but now I'd... <laughs> <laughs> I, I steer clear. Turner again. This time she'll just chip it out. And now the rifle shot, and it skips off of a couple of players and comes out towards midfield. Chip ahead to Griggs. Griggs lost it. And then back towards midfield where Emmy Coldy collects it for the Panthers. Coldy again with the header this time. Over to Wiersma. Wiersma to Griggs. Back to Wiersma. Down the far sideline she goes. Wiersma with the left foot in front. Mm. And... Right there was a Wenatchee Panther. It was Allie Flynn right there on the corner. But uh, West Valley did a nice job defending as Kaylee Mowen stepped in front, kicked it out of bounds. Yeah, that was a um, dangerous-looking ball, and the defender was facing her own goal. And um, uh, good, good job clearing that ball away from the goal. Yeah, you were talking about that, Matt. <coughs> you, don't, you don't like to have your defenders facing their own goal no, too much. Especially when those balls being whipped in from the outside like that. It's just uh, a lot of times it ends up with – with the with own goals. Ashley Turner again for the corner kick for the Panthers, and she'll quickly approach, kick this one on the ground, hoping maybe it gets past the leg of a ram. This is going to come out all the way near midfield, chasing it down over there for the Panthers is Ellie Toth. Toth kicks it down in the corner. Good chase for Wenatchee over there, and the Panthers come up with it. It was Allie Flynn. Nice job by Allie. Giving a hustle play there. Escobedo tried to Intercept that one. Look out. Body down and no whistle. Play continues. Ball's going to go out of bounds here on the near side off the foot of a ram, so it'll be a throw in for Wenatchee. Boy, this is a tough and tumble game so far. Yeah, these girls are getting after it. Emmy really came into that tackle uh, pretty pretty hard. Um, I was at, uh, fortunate no one ended up uh, getting, hurt, getting there. hurt there. Yeah. Now a chip ahead for the Rams, but... Well, Anchi, uh give them credit too, Coach. Uh, they have certainly done well defensively. Anytime that ball's come in, they've had a body in the passing lights. Yeah, they're they're outstanding tonight. They've um, really, really shown well. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know if I can pick any one of them out. They're just uh, yeah. they're working really well. Working as a unit, as you like to say. Our broadcast here on the <laughs> – NCW Life Channel brought to you by Walkabout Grill and Wenatchee and Leavenworth. Take a walk of the wild side. Also by Collins Fashions in downtown Wenatchee. Real clothes for real women. Head by Griggs. Across on the far side. A little bit too far. This one's going to go out of bounds off of Allie Flynn's foot. And we'll be out on a throw in to West Valley. We're halfway through this second half. 61st minute of this contest. Substitution for the Panthers. And coming into the game is Maggie Miller. So Miller is in. I think it's Escobedo that uh, takes a seat. I'm surprised she wasn't uh, taking a seat for a long way after that collision. She went down pretty hard. And I, she I swear did. she hit her head. and um, She didn't look like she had any cobwebs, but I would definitely be uh, keeping an eye on her. Well, the gal who drew the yellow card with that collision just checked in for West Valley as Kendall Sharp comes back into the contest. And they'll quickly bring the ball her way, and she'll touch it with the right foot and skips ahead for a minute there. Nice foot control off to Wiersma. Ahead. But then back is the Panthers. So <laughs> nice footwork over there by Ellie Toth. And just showing, I mean, all the way through the lineup here. The Panthers with some fancy footwork here tonight. Throw in for, no, they're going to say it's a throw in for West Valley. Panthers didn't agree with that one. So the... Uh, Ball will go in the Rams' favor. Throw in, battle on the far sideline, and this time it will be a Wenatchee ball. You like that, Coach, when they are just quick about the, th the decision to throw it in rather than waiting for bodies to move? Uh, definitely sometimes. I mean, when it's, a, when it's close and, and it's a 50-50 ball out of bounds, Panthers throwing in. act like it's your ball. Just Pick it up, grab throw it, it in. Go. Yep. 
Because they'll blow a whistle and stop you if it's not that way. Well, yeah. Um, always, uh, it's gamesmanship. Right. You got to sell it. Sure. Right? Yep. This ball will go out of bounds definitely and go down. No, oh, I thought no. it went down to the black hole over there, but didn't. So we have a uh, little over 18 minutes left of this contest. one nothing with Anchi on top. Appreciate you joining us here on the NCW Life Channel. Along with Matt Wise and Eric Grandstrom here with your play-by-play -play on uh, what's proving to be a chilly October night. A little carom there will cast over the top of the goal and I think be out to West Valley on a goal kick. Yeah, we've lost four degrees in the booth, and um, my phone says it's 58 outside. So. I believe it. I believe it. Our uh, cameramen up top are gritting their teeth at us right now <laughs> because we're inside and they're up there. And a nice attempt here by West Valley on a approach, but Panther defense folds in and coming out to collect the ball is our new goalkeeper here in the second half, Haley Matthews. Yeah, should he get a job to leave her line and grab that ball? Little give and go on the far side for Wenatchee. Allie Flynn had it, lost it, uh, but it was touched by the Rams, so she'll get a throw in over there. The school's a thought on the throw-ins, Coach. Sometimes I see if it's back across midfield. Uh, I'll see, like we saw on the other night with the Eastmont game, where they'll throw it backwards rather than forwards. Do you want them to throw it forward? <clears throat> um, or I, does it I depend really on where on the field you are? Uh, um, unless you got somebody streaking open, I, I really don't care too much. Or, or like a really strong throw where you can put it in the box. Right. <clears throat> like a, a Matt Springer, a Matt Springer with type the, throw. Yeah. Yep. Um, other than that, you want possession. So find your open player and put it at, at her feet. Nice interception there for the Panthers. Ball comes back, however, now across. And uh, right there is Haley Matthews for the Panthers. And she'll quickly punt it away, looking for a change of field here. A couple of bodies come together there. Very physical play throughout by Kendall Sharp for West Valley. And play continues. Sharp with an interception over there. Nice job by the Rams on the aggression. Now the kick, and it's too high over the crossbar. From 25 yards out on the shot there by Lily Fetzer. That was looking kind of dangerous there. So that yeah. was a perfect little bounce for a vol full volley. And, uh, just, just misconnected a little bit. Substitution for Wenatchee. Out of the contest comes Greta Wiersma. Give her a breather as Escobedo comes in. Ariana Escobedo for Wenatchee. Doesn't seem any the worse for wear of that collision earlier in the second half. Ball carrying around towards midfield. Keeping it alive is Ellie Flynn. Alley, near side. Gives it up to Turner. West Valley steps in front, and so too does Ed Navarro, our official. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's part of the field. <laughs> <laughs> Springer with it. She's got the only goal in this contest for Wenatchee. Came two minutes into the second half. That's it so far. one nothing Wenatchee on top. We were talking here the other day about how the points work in the Big Nine. You get a point for a win. Um, I don't know if it's three points for a win. I think uh, here more, here from the Big one? Nine says oh, yeah. one point for a win. One point for a win. You get a point yeah. for a shutout. So Wenatchee right now, five wins and five points. Okay. So I don't know if they changed that from last year because I thought it was if you get a shutout, you get extra points. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's how they count it at the end when if there's tiebreakers, things like that. Could be, yeah. Uh, and then as um, Coach Aaron was saying from Eastmont, point for a shutout, one point per goal up to three goals. Right. More of a more of a ten point type of a of a right scoring. exactly. See right here, the, uh, this is straight off of the the Big Nine's website. They've got shootout win equals zero, tie equals zero, shootout loss equals zero, loss equals zero, but win is one hmm. on the point system. So I don't know if that changed. Not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not sure um, why there's so many variations. I 
Uh, I'm, I'm kind of well, it used depends, to the, It depends on what your league you're in, too, it Yeah, seems. I'm used to the club club scoring, three points for a win, one point for a tie, zero mm -hmm. points for a loss. Goals for, goals against are, are the um, determining factors. Ball on the foot of Ariana Escobedo here near his side. A nice idea on a feed ahead by mm. Maggie Miller. But again, the Rams stepping in those passing lanes, <coughs> picking the ball off. Now it comes near side, but right there for Wenanchi is Amold. Amold will bring it across midfield herself, keep it alive, still keeps it alive. She's done a great job pressing, pushing the pace coming she out of the has. back today. Allie Flynn with it over on the far side to Jaden Griggs. Griggs will center it, but nobody there. Weak side, Ashley Turner, and she stops, pops, Ooh. and a little wide to the left. <laughs> Great idea. Yeah, good job. Good job getting that onto her left and taking. I think the goal looked a little bit too big for her at that yeah. point. It was, it was opening up <laughs> it was. rapidly. She had that defender come flying by her. Claire Johnston had uh, no chance after Ashley Turner stopped the ball. It'll be a goal kick here for West Valley as the time winds down here in this contest. Rams trailing it one nothing. See if they start to press a little bit here. Maybe when Anchi could take advantage with them out of sorts. Header here near side comes out of bounds. It'll be a Wenatchee throw in. Near sideline for Emmy Coldy. Coldy tosses it in looking for Turner, but the ball intercepted. As a nice play all night long by Jordan Carnes mm -hmm. for the West Valley Rams. She's been quite a few different places tonight. Carnes listed as a midfielder and boy she sure has just been all over that midfielder tonight for West Valley. Yeah definitely making an impact for West Valley. She's um was watching her warm up and she definitely uh, has has some played some club ball. Throw in for the Panthers. Turner chips it ahead a little bit too far for a teammate. Now the ball will be ricocheted down the field towards the Wenatchee <clears throat> end. Look out here and a kick towards the goal, not really a shot. Lexi Mason just did what she could with it. Yeah, the ball was running away from her. Kind of tough to get a, a step in onto, the, onto that shot and really get much behind it. Hit her off her toe instead of uh, her instep. We're in the 69th minute of this contest. one nothing as Wenatchee scored in the 42nd minute on a goal by Kate Springer on a pass from Allie Rader on a free kick. Wenatchee up 1-0 here in this battle for first place of the Big Nine. Header here at midfield. Escobedo chipped it and now has a carom off of her shin and comes near side. And I think this is going to be out to West Valley. It is. Throw in down in the corner. Chasing after it for the Rams, Shannon Curtis. Haven't called her name much tonight. And she'll send a crosser over and look out. Nice ball play oh. there. We got a whistle and a foul going to be whistled against Wenatchee. Yeah, Kate clipped her heel there. Yep. On. She tried to turn back and um, Kate just hooked her. Well, we we're just talking about the play of Jordan Carnes for West Valley. And she was the one that was uh, certainly in position there for the West Valley Rams. Shaken up on the play. Meanwhile, Golden opportunity here for West Valley from about 19 yards out. Mm -hmm. And to kick it will be Hallie Marshall. And here's the kick. Great and trying shot. for that far corner, a little bit too high. That looked like I was going to tuck itself in. <laughs> it did. That upper 90 there, just missed it. Trying to get that English on the ball to uh, bite against this chilly air tonight. Not happening here for West Valley. Ashley Turner going to get a breather here for Wenatchee. Is that Greta? Is it Wiersman that came in? Yes, it is. Greta Wiersma came in to replace her. Meanwhile, a goal kick here for the Panthers. Their second goalkeeper of the night. Ortega worked the first half, and Matthews here the second half. Ball out to midfield and a throw in here for the Panthers. Far sideline it goes. Escobedo comes up with it. Crosses over here near side. And the left-footed mm, right chip ahead. That was a good idea by Maggie Miller. 
But a little bit too far for Maddie Smith to get after it. But it will be a throw in for the Panthers here. As Wiersma in good position. Chips it ahead to Griggs. Griggs brings it down to herself. Gets it ahead to Wiersma. Wiersma turns. And the ball going to be kicked out of bounds. Couple of good uh, offensive sets there, Matt. Yeah. Um, a lot of almost just happened yeah. right there. Yep. Just little tiny things. Ellie Toth will throw it in <laughs> here for the Panthers as we're under 10 minutes left of this contest. Substitution here for West Valley. Shannon Curtis will come back in to replace Lexi Mason. And the throw in to Escobedo. Escobedo turns, rockets in front of the uh, goal. Ball bouncing around out front and now picked up by their goalkeeper, Megan Lee. So Lee's going to everybody clear house and then she'll punt it away. And she consistently has been able to punt that ball past midfield. Now a sprint for the ball down here. And coming up with it is Kendra Hansis. She's been kind of quiet here in the second half. This ball stolen away. Between the hash marks and a chase given, but lost it out of bounds over there was Shannon Curtis. Panthers going in. 73rd minute of this contest, and it goes out of bounds off the Panthers. Going to be out to West Valley. Well, anytime you have it in this end of the field, you just got to play some stiff defense. Mm-hmm. Springer heads it, but uh, the Rams come up with it momentarily. Wiersma off to Escobedo. Here near side, it comes to Miller. Miller back across. Now a chip ahead. Speaking of a head, went off a of West Valley head there. Could have been a handball called there. Now West Valley in transition, but a nice job chasing her down from behind. Emmy Coldy. How about that play? Really good defense right there. Ahead uh, it goes. Again, Wenatchee just defensively, it looks like West Valley's got a big chance, and then suddenly there's white jersey stepping in front with a foot in the right spot. Marshall <coughs> rips know, a shot ahead. Go ahead, Matt. Just like Jaden's got um, people uh, paying attention to her number. When she's paying a special attention to um, Kendra tonight yeah. as well. Oh, oh, boy, that was close there as it mm. caromed off of a Panther. Came back towards the goal, but a nice job by Haley Matthews to collect it there. And now she'll punt it ahead, gets it across midfield where it's headed there by the Rams. Far side for Wenatchee as Toth came up with it, then lost it. We're under six minutes left of this contest in this battle for first place. Substitution, yes, for Wenatchee. Maggie Miller will come out, and Allie Flynn will come back in. John seems to do a really good job of su substituting his players. Yeah. Just get, getting them the right rest they need, and then. Back in with fresh legs. Yeah, you don't want to let them cool off too much. And um, right now is obviously to also time to start working that bench. Mm -hmm. Bleed that clock. Yep. So it'll be a goal kick for Wenatchee as it went off the inline. Touch last by West Valley. Under five minutes on the game clock, the score clock here. Could be a few extra moments of play. That's up to our center referee, Ed Navarro. Punt near midfield, or the kick there near midfield. And we're going to get a little push there from behind, says Ed Devaro on Wiersma. So it'll be, uh, here's a kick for West Valley. They're going to put the ball down inside the 30 at about the 28. So 34 yards out, if you will, for the West Valley Rams. So here's an opportunity for West Valley. Hallie Marshall with a kick in front. Ball loose still and kicked out wide. And it will be a goal kick for Wenatchee. Couldn't Boy, nervous again yeah, with yeah, that yeah. ball dribbling around in front. Hate to see it bouncing around there. Just couldn't get that um, turned on that shot. Kendra Hansis was the one who got the <clears> foot <throat> on it there, sending it towards the goal as it sails wide right. Again, a kick on the far side line, and this one's going to go out of bounds. Ricochet over there on the bench as we're under four minutes on the clock left. In regulation, 
one nothing. Wenatchee on top. Kate Springer with the only goal in this contest. Well, we knew it was going to be a good one, and it has lived up to the billing here tonight, Matt. Yeah, it's been um, it's been a fun game to watch. Hard fought, physical contest between these two clubs. Very, very hard fought, physical game. It's, um, and lots of up and down. Wenatchee clears it again. Up the far side it goes as trying to control it, Ali Flynn. Flynn, nice job expecting and anticipating the player coming from behind. Now Escobedo picks it up inside the 40. Takes it up the left side as time continues to wind off the clock here on the approach. Ed Navarro says that's going to be a goal kick for West Valley. And if you're John Springer here and the Wenatchee Panthers, you can't have that clock run fast enough. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we're going to get a penalty whistle against West Valley. I don't quite see that. Maybe just a little push. Yeah, apparently so. Kate Springer came in to head the ball. Maybe got a little push there from Jordan Carnes. So it'll be a Wenatchee opportunity as the Panthers' Allie Raider will kick it from just inside the 40-yard line. And she'll just chip it across here to Kate Springer. Springer with the left foot in front and chipped away by West Valley. And this one's going to sail out of bounds. And if you're the Rams, kicking it out of bounds isn't necessarily the best idea right here. No. Turner feeds it ahead to Griggs. Griggs back to Turner down the corner. Is she going to be able to have the speed to get to it before the Rams do? And they will kick it off of Turner out of bounds. So a throw in for West Valley. So the clock is stopped. We're under two minutes left with some extra time possibly here by Ed Navarro. Let's see, a whistle comes. I don't think we had a substitution going on, so they can't bring the ball in quite yet. And now we are ready to go as Hallie Marshall throws it in. wenatchee has been very good on those throw-ins on defending those. Mm -hmm. Hardly has West Valley had a chance on the throw-ins. Wenatchee stepping in front and just stealing that ball away. Yeah. <clears throat> I, don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily, a lot of people will let that ball go out. I don't, I don't want to necessarily go out and win a throw in because then it's a 50-50 a ball. Right. Um, a lot of people, like I said, will just usher it out. Um, the only time I really want my players doing that is if it's in a, a numbers down situation and, and we don't have much of a chance of keeping possession. Usher it out, <clears throat> get your throw in, and, and hope you can get uh, possession. The key there is you need lots of movement off the ball uh, and, and making yourself available. Whistle comes and a collision there between the nines, the nine of Kendra Hansis and the nine of Emmy Coldy. And the, our official says it's on the nine with the blue jersey. And so Coldy will kick it away here for Wenatchee. Final few moments of this one. Panthers trying to get the victory here at home and win for the first time in John Springer's tenure as coach against the West Valley Rams. Yeah, we're down. It's like I got actually two minutes right now. So okay. um, we should be, we're at referee's discretion. And there it is. <laughs> and that is it. And for the Wenatchee Panthers, a little bit of vanquishment here at home tonight as they knock off the West Valley Rams. And I think John Springer just reached up to his forehead and wiped his brow on a chilly night. A little sweat coming off of there as Wenatchee wins it one to nothing over West Valley here tonight. We will take a two-minute break and come back and wrap it up as we continue here from the Apple Bowl in Wenatchee. Our broadcast tonight brought to you by Town Nissan, your local East Wenatchee Nissan dealer, where honesty and transparency come first. And Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge, your Town Chrysler family store where people get nice surprises. We'll be back after this two-minute timeout to wrap it up here on the NCW Live channel. Welcome back to the Apple Bowl, and a victorious Apple Bowl it is for the Wenatchee Panthers as they knock off the West Valley Rams by a score of one to nothing. And uh, if you're Coach John Springer, Matt Wisen, you got to be breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah. You finally knocked off that team that you haven't been able to beat in four or how many years he's been the head coach now? Well, four years anyway since they came up to the Big Nine. Monkey's definitely off his back now. Um, he can he can breathe a sigh of relief. Um, 
get that pressure off of his girls. I know he, he, he was downplaying that. His girls knew the score. And, um, and and they definitely felt the pressure as well. So next game they play, they'll little, be on a little more even standing. <clears throat> um, go down and play at West Valley. I believe they play on, on kind of a shoddy grass, natural natural pitch, um, which will change the, the face of that game. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, John Sprint, he can, he can sleep good tonight. Rest easy. Um, Enjoy this and get back at it tomorrow. Well, and one thing, uh, this is uh, Wenatchee's eighth win in a row. This is their 11th league win in a row, going back to last year. Um, but also, this is the first time, I think, since the first game of the season where they've really been challenged, especially in the Big Nine, and his girls stood up to the challenge tonight. Yeah, you know, it's unfortunate you can't just get um, maybe the top three or four teams in the league and play each other game in and game out. It Definitely um, stronger leagues are going to be more prepared for uh, playoffs. Right. And, and that's that's the one downside of this. I mean, we're actually likely going to be healthier, but um, competition game in and game out really is going to um, develop your players better for, for those hard uh, playoff games. Well, but, you know, it's a big nine. You can't look ahead. Uh, they've got three <clears throat> games on the road now. They only have one more home game here at the Apple Bowl this season. They'll have three games on the road at Eisenhower, at Davis, and then against that West Valley team again on a Saturday afternoon on October 14th. They come back for senior night here against Sunnyside, and then they'll finish up at Moses Lake and then at Eastmont, that last game of the season. Wouldn't that be fun if that's maybe for first, second place in the league? Yeah, I know Eastmont is um, definitely circled that game on their calendar. Yeah. <clears throat> Wants to show that uh, they're not... A 7-1 to one loss seven like to they one. were earlier this season. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that is a hard second half of the season for Wenatchee. Being on the road does, does take some toll. Um, we'll see. It's, uh, it, it can be a game of attrition sometime, and hopefully that doesn't, that doesn't play into the factor. But yeah. um, going on the road for the majority of your second half of the season is, is difficult. Absolutely. Well, it's a good night for the Wenatchee Panthers. They will savor this one as they improve to 6-0 and in Big 9 play and a two-game bulge in the Big 9, which I know they wanted to get here tonight. They're 8-1 and overall. They win their eighth contest in a row this season by downing the West Valley Rams one nothing on a goal in the second half. Two minutes into the second half in the 42nd minute by Kate Springer from Alley Raider. And that was all that would be needed for the Wenatchee Panthers as they win here tonight. So that's going to do it for our broadcast. Uh, for our crew tonight, uh, including our cameramen, we have Michael Price and Taylor Tresh. And for my partner, Matt Wise, and I'm Eric Granstrom. Again, our final at the Apple Bowl tonight. Wenatchee over West Valley for the first time in John Raider's career as a Panther coach. One nothing the final. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks for watching Wenatchee Panthers Soccer on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast has been presented by Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge, Town Nissan, Collins Fashions, and Walkabout Grill in Wenatchee and Leavenworth. Bringing local sports to you, we are the NCW Life Channel. Thanks for watching.